Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you find the videos useful and uh, subscribing to the channel. In today's video on Azure, I'm here to talk about Azure CDN and uh, show you the steps how to configure that. And uh, Azure CDN, also known as Content Delivery Network, is one of the services offered by uh, within the uh, different Azure services. But before I get into how to configure that within the Azure portal, let me just take a moment here explaining what Azure CDN or CDN in general is and uh, what are the benefits it gives to you. So let me just go to my whiteboard. So imagine if you are a service provider or if you host a website. So this is my server which is located in uh, Toronto and I uh, host some services here, say if I host a website or maybe a, a videos or you name it. If a user is trying to access, so this user A is based out of GTA, which is a Greater Toronto Area. And uh, if he's trying to access this website or this content on this server, the chances are that his uh, experience will be good because geographically, if you can see that he's closer to the location where my services are hosted. Now, if there's another user, say user B, he's based out of Vancouver and he's trying to access this uh, website, the chances are he will expect uh, some sort of latency, there will be a lag in terms of uh, accessing those uh, website or those content. And if there's a user C who's trying to access this from say Mumbai, which is in India, the chances are that he will get uh, even more latency. So they're going to be even further lag than the person who is accessing it Vancouver. So if you look at all these big companies such as uh, Netflix or uh, uh, news uh, websites such as BBC, these are pretty big. So there's a lot of traffic going uh, towards these uh, websites. So what they do is that they deploy something what you call a CDN. It'll be uh, near Vancouver, near Mumbai. So rather than this user going all the way to Toronto to access that, the uh, the file or image or whatever will be cached over here. So that will be a copy sort of, uh, 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 not the actual copy. So basically, just to also give you another point is that CDN not only can be used for static uh, sort of uh, uh, stuff, like for example, if there is a images which are being uh, accessed, so those images are not changing. You just want to look at that, right? You can use for that, but also CDN has evolved over the time. So also the dynamic changes, you know, the videos which are changes, uh, the website on which the content is uh, regularly changed uh, uh, every 30 minutes or one one hour, that, that, that also can be configured. But the idea is here is that from the user perspective, you will get a very good experience because there is not going to be lag. So same way, the image is going to be cached over here. That's, that's what it is. So basically two advantage, if I have to tell you about CDN is that uh, the user will have a better performance. They won't see lag in terms of accessing the resources. And the other thing is the security. So as I said that uh, CDN has evolved over the time. So a lot of hackers, what they do is that uh, they try to uh, uh, route traffic, what also called as DDoS kind of, you know, uh, in which the traffic is artificial. It is not, uh, that's what the hackers they do is, they try to route uh, traffic towards these websites, which is not uh, a real kind of traffic. So all the gen users who are trying to access this, they will see a lag because uh, the server is getting overwhelmed. There's there a lot of requests which are coming. So uh, also from the firewall point of view, from the security point of view, Syrian can help you because it can give you prompts and then you can apply appropriate uh, policies or you can take uh, precautions in order to avoid those kind of scenarios. But that is the whole idea of CDN basically to get a better performance and also to secure your resources which you deploy within uh, uh, in your servers. So with the public cloud offering, you know, they have made it easy and I will show you how you can configure that with few simple steps. So with that, let me just move to my uh, Azure portal. 
the first step that we I'm going to do is is to create a storage account. So if you've been on my videos, you must have seen how to create a storage account. So let me just uh, quickly create one. So go to storage account, go to add storage account, and you're going to give a name. And uh, let's name it IT storage account 101. I'm going to keep the deployment model resource manager. And the account kind, I'm going to pick general purpose version 2 because it gives me all the latest option. Location is OK. You can pick the appropriate replication. I, in my case, I'm going to pick locally redundant. And I will leave everything to the default. And I'm going to deploy this in my existing resource group, which is ITRG, and click on Create. So let's go inside this domain and the second step I'm going to do is to create a blob storage. So as you can, uh, as you know that in a storage uh, account there are four options. You can create a blob, file, table and queue and each of them serve a different purpose. But for our CD and demo, we need to create a blob storage in which we'll create a container. So I'm going to create a container and give it a name. I think there was a drop in connectivity. Let me just log in again. Let's try one more time. So I'm going to give it a name ITC and under the public access level I'm going to make it container which is anonymous read access for container and block because I want to give access over the internet and click on OK. So the two steps I've done so far is to create a storage account in that I created a blob storage and I have created a container with the name ITC. So we are done with this. The third step that we're going to do is to create a CDN profile. So I'm just going to go to CDN profile. If you don't see over here, you can go to all services and do a quick search and pin it to your um, uh, portal. Uh, the first thing uh, that we're going to do in CDN profile is to click on add. And uh, we'll give a name for the CDN profile, which is going to be IT profile. I'm going to deploy this within the existing resource group, which is ITRG, to keep it simple. And uh, this is very important. So you need to be careful what pricing tier you choose. Uh, Azure offers standard uh, Verizon, premium Verizon. Then you also have standard Akamai. And now they have also introduced what you call standard Microsoft, which is in preview. But for this demonstration, I'm going to pick standard Akamai. And from here, you can also create a new endpoint. So I'm going to click on this uh, button and give a name for this uh, endpoint. It's going to be IT simplified. And under the origin type, I can pick from storage, cloud service, web app, and I can even have a custom origin. But in our case, it's storage. And uh, under the origin host name, 
it automatically pops which is ITSA 101 that one the one that we created and we'll click on create so so far what we have done is we have created a storage account in that we created a blob storage and a container and then we have configured a CDN profile and an endpoint So the CDN profile was created successfully. So let me just refresh this so as you can see. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go back to my storage account. And I would like to upload a file to the container that I created. So let me go to my container that I created was with the name ITC and you see that we have an upload button so let me just click on this and I'm gonna pick a file which is with the name IT and uh, I'll click and I will upload that so the upload was uh, completed so let me just close this because that is what we'll try to uh, access uh, through the endpoint. So let me just come out of this and go to the CDN profile and expand this. And expand the endpoint. And you see that you have the option of this origin host name, the URL it gives. So I'm going to copy this. And I'll paste this into the URL. And just remember the name of the, uh, the container that we created, which is ITC. And uh, the name of the image that was there was uh, IT and it was in PNG format. So let's see if we are able to access or not. So as you can see that I will, I'm able to access that uh, uh, through the endpoint and how easy it is to configure that within the Azure portal. I hope you found this video useful on Azure CDN. Thanks for watching and have a good day.